Hey, what's up guys, Nad here back with Android Bro with a new video. Today in this video we are going to see how we can create SD card partition. I have listed two methods here, well, the first one is for rooted user and the, the next one is for both rooted and non-rooted users. So if you are a non-rooted user, skip the first one and directly go to the second method. Partitioning your SD card help you in many other ways, you can use it as a secondary storage device and even for moving your apps and data from your internal memory to the external SD card you can use AppUSD for that so without wasting any more time let's get into the work starting with the first method we have app to SD application itself we are using this particular app to partition your card you need root access for this but I do not suggest you doing this or following this method because there may be some error with this method as it is done within the phone itself so uh, I suggest you to go with the second method because it involves PC and will be much more stable so if you have a PC and you have some time you go with the second method itself but you may try this one as well this works but not always so let's get into the work uh, going to the app to SD uh, you should be installing it first and open it you have to grant the permission uh, by the way, you need BusyBox, BusyBox application installed for this particular thing, so make sure you have BusyBox already. This particular app will give you a couple of other features as well. It is one of the must application for a rooted user. It can give you many more features, as you can see there. Now let's go to the partition tool. Okay, here you, you will get some options there to create the partition. Uh, I'm going to create two partitions. The first partition uh, is FAT32 where I can store files like songs, movies, etc. on my card. And the second partition will be EXT4. That means you can uh, use it for application storage. That means moving your app from internal memory to the SD card. Or you can even create FAT32. That, that means both can be used for the data storage itself. Okay, I need to specify something. When you do this thing, your SD card will be formatted completely. So make sure to have a backup and do not repent after that because everything, everything will be erased after doing this. Okay, choosing the right partition type and file system and the size, clicking on yes button. It may take a couple of minutes to create the partitions. Yes, looks like the partition have been created and we need to reboot the phone to make that effective. So after rebooting, you will be having only one partition in your SD card showing up in your ES file explorer because only f 32 will be visible ext4 will not be visible there you can see the same thing over there okay that's it for the first method and we are going to second method now as I've told you earlier I am suggesting you the second method because it involves PC the process will be much more stabilized than the first one so if you have some time some more time and some more patience you can go with the second method itself so we shall go with the second method now. Here you need an application for the PC which is called Mini Partition Wizard Tool. Which is home version. It is available for free at their website but you have a limitation of creating the partition up to only 1 GB. But you can get the software if by paying something but you know how to get it for free right? I don't need to explain that. But I don't suggest that. Anyway, leaving it at that side, getting into the work opening that particular software you you will find our SD card first thing you have to do is right click on it and delete delete it delete everything it, it, even this particular thing will erase everything on your SD card so make sure you have a backup okay after deleting everything you will find unallocated space under your SD card profile so right click on it and select create button and there you need to uh, select create as primary and keep everything same and uh, give some suitable name for the uh, partition you can change the size of the partition I'm left with 13.6 GB now which is unlocked and with this thing I'm going to create it as ext4 because I need it as a partition where I can uh, store my data or the application files transferring from my internal to SD card. So I'm going to do with the ext4 and make sure we have selected primary in the profile. Give some suitable name and you are good to go. After that click on apply button and press yes and it will take you a couple of minutes maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So wait for that and after everything completes you will be able to see 
two two partitions there. One is NTFS and one is EXT4. And it, by the way, you can create uh, FAT32 also. I have created NTFS here. And one more thing to specify, you will not be able to see that EXT4 partition on your computer because it's not NTFS or FAT32, right? You will not be able to see that on your computer. You need not worry about that, but you can access that files from your mobile phone using apps app stick application that's it for the video guys if you have any questions regarding this particular video leave a comment below and if this works for you don't forget to slap that like button and subscribe if you want to receive more have a good day